I'm Eric Moore. I'm a uh, head and neck surgeon at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. One area of uh, expertise and specialty that we concentrate in is uh, transoral robotic surgery for cancers of the tonsil, palate, base of tongue, and throat, or pharynx. Transoral robotic surgery is um, a new uh, use of a, um, an existing instrument. The Da Vinci robotic instrument has been used uh, regularly for prostate surgery and GYN surgery and cardiac surgery. And we, as well as a few other centers, are developing uh, a technique to remove tumors from the base of tongue and throat that are hard to access uh, with other modalities and uh, have had some success in patients in decreasing their hospital stay, getting them to return back to work and functions of the mouth and throat quicker uh, than we have been able to with other treatments. When the patient comes into the operating room for transoral robotic surgery, several things are immediately uh, different from standard surgery of the head and neck. The patient is positioned on the table and anesthetized just like we would for other procedures, but then we move in the robotic instrument and place an oral retractor into the mouth, which allows us to open the mouth widely and move the structures of the tongue that we're not interested in uh, seeing or that we need to get out of our way to access the tumor. Once this is done, we then move the robotic uh, arms in, and the arms typically have graspers and cautery cutting instruments that we can position around the tumor in a very unique dual telescope that we can move into place which gives the surgeon a 3D depth of field binocular view uh, of the surgical site. The surgeon actually sits at a remote console uh, away from the patient which is vastly different from other surgical procedures. There's an assistant at the head of the patient to provide emergency care or suction or assistance or attraction, but the majority of the operation is done at the console while the surgeon looks on a video monitor at the scene of the operation and manipulates the robotic arms with graspers on the console. When we um, initiated transoral robotic surgery, uh, because this technique was new and uh, with, there was not a lot of experience with it and because it was not originally FDA approved, we uh, initiated a protocol where we would enroll 50 patients into a trial. These were patients that we thought would be great candidates for transoral surgery that had tumors that we thought were appropriate to access this way. And our interest was, could we decrease the operating time? Could we improve their rate of recovery of function? Could we get them out of the hospital and back to their jobs or home or work sooner? And uh, these were the main endpoints of our trial. We did enroll 50 patients with uh, tonsil and base of tongue tumors into this trial, and our results were even more positive than we originally expected. We found that the average hospital time in these patients was 2.3 days. We did not incur any major complications such as bleeding or inability to access the tumor. We didn't uh, incur any uh, tumor recurrences, which uh, surprised us. And uh, most importantly, the patients were able to return to swallowing sooner. They were able to get to, uh, home sooner. And uh, all of the patients were uh, eventually able to return to an oral diet and normal speech, which we thought was a great uh, advantage of this technique. We now have experience um, with nearly 100 patients with transoral robotic surgery. And our patient uh, list is um, currently growing actively. We've uh, adopted this as our technique of choice for patients with uh, tumors of the tonsil and base of tongue, and we're expanding this to see if we can uh, take out tumors in the larynx or voice box and other regions that have typically been difficult to access through the mouth. Um, we think that the patients who have uh, given us this information have uh, sort of laid a great road for patients in the future. Our confidence is such that uh, now uh, we think that the vast majority of patients with oropharyngeal carcinoma are candidates for this. Um, and ourselves, uh, uh, together with a couple other innovative uh, institutions, uh, have the world's largest experience now with transoral robotic surgery.